Our heading is transformations on the number plane. You might recall, transformations are about changing a shape in a way that makes the shape still similar. Now, there were three different transformations that we learnt about earlier in the year. Can anyone remember what they were? Someone who hasn't said Aww. anything. Someone who hasn't said anything yet. Come on. I've got a lot of questions. Can someone tell me a way to transform a shape or a figure? Renee. Oh, sliding. sliding. Okay, sliding's good. We had a fancy name for sliding. Does anyone remember what it was? Starts with a T. Translate. Very good. Translation. Okay. Someone give me another one. Brad. Rotation, okay, so rotation, that's our fancy word. What's like a more colloquial way you could say rotate? Yeah? Turn, turn. turn or spin, they're, they're both fine. Okay, I've got one more, nigga. Okay, reflection, again, that's the fancy word. You could either say colloquially, flip or mirror. Very good, I'm gonna go with flip because it's just short. Okay, wonderful, yeah? Yeah, so you may, you may like to just jot these down under your heading, just to remember. <laughs> so now what we're going to do... Thank you. Is we're going to do these with more precision. Because when you've got a number plane, like these guys, you know not just like, oh, it's an arrow, and it's kind of tall. I know exactly where all of the points on the arrow are. So I can do this with super precision. It's going to be great. Okay. So the first thing you need to do in your book underneath these three dot points is let's all do question one together. Okay. Let's all do question one together. You can see the first thing you got to do is actually just start with what they've given you. So you need a set of axes. Look at how far it goes up and down. And then this shape that's on there, this arrow, you need to draw it on. If you've got another colour, that might be handy because then you can see things apart. Probably advisable to use a pen for the axes and pencil for the rest of it. Because you might make a mistake and that's fine. Okay. So can I give you a couple of minutes? Draw this diagram, this first one. We'll all draw it together. Question one. Um, I'll come around, Miss and I will have a look and make sure you're on the right track. Use a ruler, please. Axes in pen, everything else in pencil. Okay. Alright, wonderful. So you got your diagram, and it looks awesome, I'm sure, okay? If you use the ruler and all that kind of thing, or it's on its way to looking awesome. Now let's have a look at what they're asking us to do. It says, uh, copy and translate. Well, you've done the copy bit. Then what you have to translate, we are sliding. So this thing's going to say the same size, it's going to stay facing the same way, and I'm going to sort of move it around like this. It says, six units left, and two units down, okay? So now if you have a look at where your um, shape is, right? They said six left and two down. So my advice to you is take it point by point, okay? So let's just be alphabetical. I'm gonna start at A. So you can see, I'll do it in, um, I'll do it. There we go. Okay, so you can see there's A, right? So I'm gonna move it. What did they say again? Six to the left, left and two down. Okay, so I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six to the left. One, two down. Now, if I just come back momentarily, you might recall that when you do translations, whatever kind you do, you start with the original and then the new thing is called, can you see the word they use there? Starts with an I. Starts with an I? It's called the image, right? So it's like when you look in the mirror, there's you and then there's the image in the mirror, okay? So this image is called A dash, B dash, C dash. Each one corresponds to its original, okay? So therefore, I'm going to label this guy A dash, right? And I'm going to go around in a logical way, make sure I don't miss any. So here's B now, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. And then what? Two down. Two down. One, two. So there is B dash, right? And you can see if I want, I can join that up and I can go all the way around. Let's see, it looks like I'm gonna have C dash over here. You can join that up and then you can complete your shape. So you see how that works? Can you go ahead and finish your diagram and do the translation? Off you go. We're done, like that's it. Ta-da, you've got a beautiful arrow and it here has been uh, translated, slid over that way, everything's great.